All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, as you might have seen in the in-game news, update 4.20.0 will be dropping on Global in the near future. And in today's video, we're going to quickly go through this uh, news release here and break down everything that us Global players can expect to get once this update officially comes out. So, with that said, let's uh, jump right into it. It says, update 4.20.0 will be released soon. Here is a sneak peek at some of the new features. And the first thing is optimized the mission page. Sections on the mission page will be displayed in tabs, making it easier to check the details of each type of mission. So essentially this is an overhaul or an improvement of the mission user interface. So right now, if you Going to the mission tab, as you can see, you have all of your different kinds of missions, right? Your daily missions, your special missions, your King Kai missions, and so on and so forth. And while this UI isn't really too bad, I do feel like it's not the most efficient, you know? So with the update now and with the improved UI, what you're getting is something that looks more like, I guess, the Baba Shop, where you have the different kinds of missions in little bubbles on the top. And all you got to do is click on a certain bubble to go to that kind of mission, whether it be the daily missions, Inkai missions, or whatever. And then once you get to that section, it shows you a lot more useful information about each mission, you know? So you got the exact types of rewards you're getting, whether it be Dragonstones, or Kais, or Hercule statues, or whatever else it may be. And it also shows you your progress towards completing each mission. So there's going to be a progress bar at the bottom here and it'll show you exactly how close you are to completing that mission, right? And finally, it shows you the exact event that each mission is from. So overall, just a more efficient, better looking, and more useful mission tab coming with 4.20.0. From there, we have revamped the daily missions. Daily missions that are available every day will be revamped. Please note that you will not be able to complete the old daily missions after the maintenance. The revamped missions will become available after the maintenance. So just like it says, we're going to be getting some new daily missions with this update. And uh, they're essentially just going to be much easier to complete on a daily basis as opposed to like, you know, doing a friend summon or completing the um, turtle school training and a bunch of other random crap. Now with the update, the missions will be complete a stage one time complete a stage two times, complete a stage three times. I think there's one for consuming 50 stamina. And that's pretty much it, as far as I can remember from the JP side. There might be one or two others that I'm forgetting, but basically the new daily missions are just gonna be much easier to complete. They're gonna be a lot less annoying to complete if you wanna finish all of them. And I think we're gonna be getting two stones on a daily basis with these new missions. So yeah, pretty good stuff. Just another way to make the Dokkan experience a little bit less painful, I guess. After that, we have adjusted the stamina restored when a player rank is raised. The stamina restored by having your rank raised can exceed your maximum stamina. So currently, when you rank up and you have like some extra stamina left over, let's say you still had like 100 stamina, you would just lose that, right? So you rank up, your stamina gets refilled, but the excess amount, whatever number you had left over, would just disappear. But now, with the update, when you rank up, the amount you had left over will be added to your max stamina. So it could be like 300 out of 200 or whatever. So you kind of still save that stamina and it doesn't go to waste. So that's pretty nice. And also, if your rank is raised more than one level in one go, so let's say you somehow rank up four or five times at once, uh, your stamina after your rank is raised will be the remaining stamina plus the stamina restored for each level raised. So essentially, you're not going to be wasting any of the stamina that you would have received for each rank up, right? And uh, the stamina restored in the above image is the sum of the remaining stamina and the stamina restored by having 11 levels raised. So what you see here is essentially an account that went from rank one to rank 12 all at once, somehow. I'm not sure, but that's how it works basically. 
And uh, after that, we have optimized the returning login bonus screen. The returning login bonus screen will be easier on the eyes. So I don't think they actually changed the returning login bonus rewards. They just made it look a little bit nicer with this new UI with the Super Saiyan Gohan and Super Saiyan Goku. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, actually it says certain login bonuses will also be adjusted. Okay, so yeah, some of the rewards are changed, but the main thing is that they changed the uh, interface for the returning login bonus. And we're also going to be getting returning missions. Special missions that can be attempted during the returning period will become available soon. So if you are a returning player after a certain period of time, whether it be a couple of weeks or a month plus, then you will also have some returning missions that allow you to get some dragon stones and other rewards when you complete them. And if my eyes are not lying to me, I'm pretty sure it says here, get awesome rewards, including 50 dragon stones and 20 summon tickets through the login bonus and missions. That is quite a bit. That's quite a bit, not bad. And uh, lastly, we have fix some bugs. Fix an issue with certain passive skills and an issue with an active skill animation. I'm not really sure uh, which ones they're referring to specifically, but there you go. Stay tuned for update 4.20.0. Now, uh, in terms of when that's happening, we do have the maintenance scheduled for November 3rd, which is Wednesday. So that's when we can expect this update to uh, drop on global as well. So there you go, guys. Update 4.20.0 coming to global soon. Some uh, nice updates, nothing too major in my opinion, but things that will improve our quality of life as Dokkan players. And uh, that's it. That's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are stoked for this new update as well as the thank you celebration. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.